In South Africa, a breakthrough may be imminent to stem recent political violence. Political leaders appear to have found a way to end the standoff over the country's first all-race elections. Another meeting is set for Tuesday to finalize the deal. CNN's Peter Arnett reports. Following six hours of talks in Pretoria aimed at ending a major political standoff in South Africa, the official line was guardedly optimistic. Our talks today have gone very well. So well, in fact, that sources tell CNN that details of a plan to bring the Zulus into the election have been okayed by negotiators for the government and for the Zulu chief. And a document has been drawn up that must now only be approved by ANC leader Nelson Mandela. A summit meeting between Mandela, President de Klerk and Boutalese is scheduled for Tuesday. A source close to the negotiation says, quote, we are very close to having Boutalese on board. The unwillingness of Boutalese and his Ankara party to participate in the elections has raised the specter of escalating violence, even of civil war. Boutalese had been pushing repeatedly for a delay in the elections, a demand that is no longer an issue. I don't think that uh, there is any possibility of, of, of postponing the election. These Pretoria peace talks are of particular importance to the financial capital of Johannesburg. That city is facing the threat of potentially violent and disruptive illegal demonstrations by militant Zulus. Parts of downtown Johannesburg resembled a fortified encampment early Monday morning as authorities braced for trouble. The Encarta Youth League had called for marches to the rival ANC headquarters, site of a bloody massacre three weeks ago. And even though these marches had been called off at the last minute, the government was taking no chances of a repeat of the earlier trouble. Late Monday, the Encarta militants postponed their plans for a Tuesday work stoppage. Outside Johannesburg, violence continued. It began with a soldier's burst of gunfire as rival black factions battled in Tokoza Township. A group of news photographers were caught in the crossfire as they tried to cover the firefight. They scrambled for safety, but two were wounded and another, Ken Oosterbrook, chief photographer of the Johannesburg Star, was killed in the confusion of battle. As the shooting subsided, the casualties were taken to area hospitals for treatment. A stark reminder that even as talks aimed at achieving a more peaceful South Africa were progressing, the killing and strife continues. Peter Arnett, CNN, Johannesburg.